are yeah, one happy crowd. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, your rage can be felt, I'm sure, out on the street. All right. I don't, I, you guys, I can't read anyone's writing. I'm just telling you for the future, I don't know what the hell this says. Marka? Is that a name? Marka Davis? Marka? Oh. Is that, is that, right? Is that your name? Mark A. Mark A. Davis. That's like one word for me. Hi, everybody. My NFL coach always said, patience is a virtue, silence is golden. And you'll probably say, NFL coach? Was he a football player? I was a cheerleader in high school and college. But I was on the NFL team at my small high school, Urbana, in Ohio. And that was the National Forensic League, the NFL. So I could say I'm an NFL champion. But I was so bad my freshman year in extemporaneous speaking, I received seventh place by the judge in a round with six contestants. <laughs> I eventually got better at the national competition and uh, was very happy to come in first with Flowers for Algernon, which is a movie called Charlie, and I'm talking back in the 70s, uh, 77, 78, and it was uh, dear to my heart in so many ways. I must say that the two courses, or the two classes in high school that were best for me were the speech classes and typing. And I learned on one of those black typewriters, not electric, what are they called? <laughs> what? Candle. 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 <laughs> not a candle. <laughs> anyway. I learned the confidence of public speaking that became valuable for a career of a lifetime. Telling my story about living with mental illness and a variety of other health conditions and getting a job where I was able to share my story and help build a national mental health consumer survivor movement. Not a well-known movement like many people know about, uh, uh, the women's movement, or the civil rights movement, uh, the LGBT gay marriage movement. By the way, today is very special because it is special. I consider myself illegally widowed because my partner and I had a union ceremony, and he died eight days later, unfortunately. But it was the best, the best thing we could have done in 1999. So thus, I'm illegally widowed to this day, and will always write it in because it's never asked for um, in a survey. So if anybody is able to use that, please use that if that's your situation. So I hope it gets legal today. It would mean a lot for Ted and I uh, in so many ways. And in the public speaking and, and the, the speeches around the country in various states, I was invited to North Carolina for a week to travel around during Mental Health Awareness Week. And I love the Asheville, North Carolina mayor introduction, who was reading from the script and said, and he also experienced homeliness. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty ugly, I'll tell you. On the streets of Florida. Homelessness. Pretty ugly. And in North Carolina, um, excuse, that's North Carolina, in Tennessee, in Nashville, I was asked to speak, speak at their state conference called People First. And when I arrived, I thought it was a mental health consumer conference. And I learned, did you ring? No, not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, learned, I learned that... Um, <laughs> Thanks, Tina Fang. <laughs> so I learned um, 
that when I got there, it was a conference for people with intellectual disabilities. The message was the same, but, you know, kind of changed the presentation style a tad. And it was a Saturday, and the news media came in with cameras, and they were doing a feature story about people first, uh, and their language, it's not first person, uh, it's people first, and so they did this great expose on the news, and there was a close-up of my face, and on the bottom it said, Mark Davis, person with mental retardation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let the media label <laughs> and diagnose, but anyway, it, it's been a pleasure to, uh, to have the virtue of a speech coach who said, you know, silence is golden in a speech coach, and the vice of telling a story any place I can and, and sharing the beauty of re recovery by virtue and by vice. I'm here queer and crazy too.